Hello and welcome back to One Man Stream. Today is episode 12, it's quick hitter number 4, and we're going to continue to look at the widget button, and today we're going to look at the region widget. And the region widget is more cosmetic uh, than functional, but it does help us to uh, make our layouts uh, a little more pleasing to look at. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you uh, what I mean here. Let's go ahead up to the uh, widget, and we're going to click on region. And then we're just going to call this test region. And let's make it a nice bright orange so we can see it. And it's sizable in both uh, length and width. And uh, let's just go ahead and position it right here. So this allows us to do something pretty neat that you can't really do uh, without it. It actually allows you, it allows you to move things uh, in a group. So let's go ahead and create some buttons. We're just gonna go up here and create one. Button one. Okay, so here's the button that we created. Click OK, and we're going to duplicate it a few times. I haven't spoken to this point, um, but I'll show you what I did right there. Uh, if you have several buttons that you're going to make that are going to be very similar in functionality, you can use this uh, duplicate widget. So I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm going to move it out of the way, maybe. Then I'm going to duplicate it again. And I'm going to move it out of the way. Okay, let's go ahead and put the buttons we just made in our new test region. All right, and this is where the cool part comes in. If you click up here uh, on sticky and you click it, it's going to turn yellow. And then you can move this whole region, this whole area, uh, wherever you want to. If you uh, don't click the sticky, you'll be moving the region, but you won't be moving the buttons. This is probably the neatest feature uh, of uh, this particular widget, is uh, the fact that you can move things in groups. Okay, so now I'm just going to stop here for a moment, and I'm going to bring up another um, layout that uh, I did earlier. And this is what I mean by being able to move things uh, by region. If I decide that I don't want my uh, replay functions to be here, I can just move them over here all at one time. Notice that the uh, sticky is clicked. Uh, and you know that it's clicked when it's turned yellow. And I can bring this back here if I'd like to. Here's my overlay channels. I can do the same thing. So it's just an easy way of changing uh, the appearance of your production uh, layout. If you didn't, uh, if you're not using the region widget, uh, it's not possible to move these things in groups. And it does make it much easier, and it is a little bit more pleasing uh, to look at uh, when you have your uh, regions uh, with different colors. So that's really everything I wanted to show you in uh, this quick hitter. If you haven't noticed the uh, sequence of episodes that we're putting out, we'll do a quick hitter. And a quick hitter is really just focused on one particular uh, part of vMix UTC. And uh, it's been mainly, uh, the quick hitters have mainly been about the different widgets. Uh, we've covered button, label, uh, list, uh, score. We're going to cover text widget and uh, timer. And then we'll also get to volume, uh, T-bar, and playlist. We'll cover all these. And those will be quick lists, or uh, quick lists. Those will be quick hitters. And then we'll come back in, in preceding episodes, and we'll do a little bit more of a deep dive. We'll show you how to incorporate it in your production, uh, how to do some automation with it. And once again, the quick hitters are basically um, the widget explanation all right, that brings us to uh, the end of today's episode. I hope you uh, found it uh, somewhat uh, informative and somewhat interesting. If you like what we're doing here, please like and give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe so that you'll be alerted when new videos are posted.